hello everyone welcome to my video of short circuit analysis in PSSE today we will learn to do uh, short circuit analysis and uh, there are some steps you have to follow and it's very easy for you to do these steps uh, first step is that you have to go for settings so the settings is in, in miscellaneous change option setting then you have to go for the first option of unit current voltages it should be set on physical unit impedance set on physical as well and uh, for coordinates for current voltages and coordinates for impedances is uh, up to you either you have to see your result on polar or on rectangular for me I need to see my results on polar alright so the second step is uh, you have to go for short circuit settings uh, there is an option of setup for spatial fault calculation flat click on that option uh, you have to perform some uh, settings like uh, I need to check my short circuit analysis as per IC 909 fault calculation so I will go for setting for set tab ratio to unity set charging to zero and uh, set fix for all sequences and uh, set switch current to 0, 0.0 in all sequences that's all right set line charging to all sequences uh, leave the transformer magnetizing to y unchanged and uh, if the loads and change that's all right desired voltage I uh, need to check on 1.1 that's all right after that there is a third step the third step you have to go for short circuit tab again uh, there is automatic sequence fault calculation ASCC just click on that option uh, in that option you can see uh, uh, different uh, parameters or different options uh, like uh, uh, set option to predefined pre fault conditions I uh, have to set on default and uh, what type of fault you have to apply and the fault is uh, I'm interested in to see three phase fault line to ground fault line to line ground fault that will be alright for me uh, set synchronous and asynchronous on P and Q output to zero yeah that's alright for me and uh, contribution to and level away for output option that's all right and uh, set the tab ratio to 1.0 phase shift angle to zero yeah that's all right uh, generator reactants uh, yeah uh, sub transient it, that's all right uh, line charging uh, set to 0, 0.0 in all sequence networks uh, yeah that's all right uh, same 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 for shunt and load as well uh, specified voltage 1.1 that's all right all right now it's up to you you have to select all buses here or you can select a specific bus uh, you can enter a bus number here if you want to check a specific bus uh, but I want to check short circuit level in all buses so I simply go for yeah in output bar you can see it's there is some calculation and it's done so the output bar gives you uh, out results like this there is a bus number and in that bus number there is a contribution of each uh, each buses how how much is the short circuit and uh, or is, uh, you can check the summary of all of it in each buses and uh, f if you want to check this in SLD you can easily check that uh, simply by clicking uh, option of ASC display ASCC fault analysis results on the active diagram just click on that go for OK here we go just uh, zoom that in each buses you can see there is a short circuit mention like a three phase line to ground line to line then ground you can 
see there are the short circuit mention each buses so that uh, that was the end of this video and you have learned how to perform short circuit analysis in PSL software I hope this video helped you a lot uh, and uh, thank you for watching this video bye bye